hey you guys i'm back um this video is simple i am sublimating on a hair bunny let me move this over so you can see um i know some people use the um pillows i don't i literally get a box cut a full circle around this box and i make my circle i stick it inside of the bonnet and this is how i keep it um from messing up in a flat surface is what i'll be after mm -hmm. let me put this around i'm doing a little tugging i want to make sure it kind of lines up in the middle for my image make sure it's all the way around kind of like a semi-circle um how i got this is this is 13 by 19 paper i did not i don't remember the exact size I literally put my bunnet and was like, let me stretch it to this amount to kind of make it as full as possible. You know what I'm saying? So I did it like this. So this is my image, something I made really quick. And it's going to go on here. I think because there's some wrinkles, y'all, it bothers my soul. So I think I might heat this up for a little bit. Um, let's take it to the press and just get some of these wrinkles out. Let me move this camera over. My bigger ring light broke on me just literally minutes before doing this video. It will not stop me. We will get through making this bonnet today. Just one second. All right. So you're going to see me put this on here. I'm going to put a little bit over it. My temperature is at 375 because I, you know, satin is a, I'm not going to say a delicate material, but it, it can scorch on you and burn. So I'm not going to do the four or 400 people have, but I'm just scared to be honest with you. Just press it, get a little moisture out of it, make sure we got that together. Pull that out. See, that looks better. It's more of a flat surface to um, put the image on. You can put your image anyway on here. It's a, um, it's a circle, so where can you go wrong? I am going to put some heat tape. If I had some of the Elmer's adhesive spray i would use it so it wouldn't move but we're going to use some tape just to be on the safe side and at 380 i'm going to press this for um i'm gonna do maybe a little bit under 60 seconds i'm not for sure let's cover this all the way up make sure we can get this all the way around And I'm going to let this go and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, y'all, we about, it says 10 seconds left. It keeps steering, so my nerves is bad, y'all know. It's really hard for me to go to full 60 seconds. I we didn't tell you I'm not a 60 second person, but I did it with this. This is like my second button I think I've ever done. And um, this is the biggest circle when I ever done because normally I don't. I just do a spot and that's it. So this is new. Let's see what we got. Let's see. I'm going to put it out there. It's kind of hot. It's really hot. Oh, y'all, it's cute. Oh, it's real cute. Look at that. Look at those colors. This is... Um, Sublimation on a bunnet at 380 for 60 seconds. Inside, I use the box. I cut it up. And this is why I did that circle, y'all. Because when this goes, look at me. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm turning stuff up. When this goes on that person's head, look how that look. That looks so cute. Y'all, my daughter's going to be happy. You heard me? She's going to be super happy. Look at that, y'all. That's so cute. That's cute. I'm going to hold this down so you can see it because it's still hot. Y'all, that's cute. That is super cute. So that is sublimation on a bonnet. Look at that ink release. That's HTV Runt paper and HTV Runt ink. So it do go good together. I like it. I've been using it for a minute now. Very affordable. As always with Zy Creations, thank you so much for watching. And I will try to do a little bit more 
So you're going to see me do this. You're going to see me do a sleeping mask and you're also going to see me do a robe. So it's going to be three separate videos. Stay tuned. Happy crafting.